Today, we're going to be talking about citizenship in the Army, how the entire process goes, and we're going to hear it firsthand from somebody that's actually been through it. But without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, what is up guys? Ben Allen back again with another video and as you can see we have a special guest. I'm going to let her introduce herself real quick. Hi guys, I'm Ty Dancini and I'm right here. I got the invite to come here and we're going to talk about the citizenship process. Especially if you're not from America, originally born in here. I'm going to guide you and give you some tips in how to become American. Heck yeah, guys. That, I, want, I want to let you guys know that's a better intro than I did this entire video. <laughs> I, this is my fifth take, and that was her first take. So awesome stuff. Uh, but yeah, I get asked this question a lot, and I always feel bad because I do not know how to answer it, right? And that's the whole point of the channel is to help you guys get the answers to your questions that I wish I had when I was coming into the military. So being able to bring on people to the channel and help answer those questions for you is one of the biggest things here on the channel. And she's actually my first guest in like a while. I think in like over a year, unless you count David uh, as a guest, but he lives with me. So not really, right? <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and run through the entire process from start to finish, how she went through it, and you know, her first hand experience, all right? But before we do all that, be sure to like this video and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yes. I will be linking her channel as well down in the description box below so you can check out her content because she posts some awesome videos as well. Uh, she's barely starting out, but I have a feeling she's going to pass me up in no time. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. No. It's, it's going to happen. Yes. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> you just got to say yes. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and start the video. All right. So originally, where are you from? So I was born in Brazil, but my family is Polish and Italian. That's why you guys must be weren't like wondering, like that girl does not look Brazilian at all. But we, I'm, my family is Polish, so I was just born in Brazil. So therefore, I have a Brazilian citizenship. But I came to the U.S. It's been like six years because I have family members here, and I was not American before, and now. I'm American, like Ooh. since like three weeks ago. So cheers to America! Cheers to America! We're gonna be doing this a lot throughout the video, guys. It's funny you say that you're Polish because one of our roommates is actually Polish. Nice. She can speak it and everything. Yeah, cool. I have no yeah. idea what she's saying, but uh, it's it's cool. Uh, but yeah, okay. So that's where you're from, right? That's the background story, right? So what made you want to join the army? Was it for the citizenship? Was it to serve the country, or what? No. So before everybody asks this question. For you to join the military, you can be illegal or out of status. You need to have your sort of documentation already. You have to be legal in the country. So a lot of people ask me like, did you join the military for citizenship? That's a wrong answer, a wrong question because you have to be already legal before you even join. Oh. So I already had a green card before I joined. And they have two types of green cards. The one that lasts two years or the 10 year ones. So you can join with either one. But you have to have a green card and a social security in order to join before. So that's a question. That's like a concept that people sometimes don't understand. Yeah, they think like people come over here and like, hey, let me join the military so I can become a citizen. And that's not actually quite true. Oh, I just learned something new. That's crazy. Yeah, I yeah. did not know that at all. Yeah, you have and to be. So what's the process to like get the green card and like become like uh, like eligible? So I'm not going to lie to get a green card is like really hard, especially with the laws nowadays. You have to get it through your immediate family, being like a mom, a dad, or a brother or sister. Like, it doesn't matter if you have like, hey, I have a cousin or an aunt that lives in the US. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Like, it has to be an immediate family. And I have my entire family living here, like my parents and my aunts and my, they're all Americans. My cousins are all Americans and everyone. So my family and I, like, we all have been living here and that's how we got it. Yeah, so you can get through your family. You can get through marriage if you marry someone. You can get through some work. It's like a long process, but still it's doable. Uh, like a company has to sponsor you and then you have to spend a lot of money with lawyers and everything. I'll tell you, it's probably like another like 40 case right there. 30, 40 case. So you know what? Be grateful for being born here. It's free. 
It is free. I love it. Yeah. Uh, but that's crazy. I did not know any of that. That's, I, I just thought like, oh, hey, yeah, you just join. Cool. You get your citizenship. That mm -hmm. I was misinformed. That's that's insane. Yeah. And so once you actually go through that process, right, you get the green card, whether it's through marriage, whether it's through family, whether it's through working for a company, uh, what's the next step? Like, how do you how do you get the ball rolling on that? OK, so you have a social security, you have all your green card and it can be expired like it cannot. It has to be all good and then you go to your recruiters and, and everything you get you pick your job and then you go and after one legal day of service which is like as soon as you graduate uh, basic training you go to AIT after one day you can apply for your citizenship the difference between the civilian citizenship and the military is because the military is one is free and it's two it's expedited for you because we we get deployed all the time so they have to expedite our citizenship so we can you know go and serve our country and that's what happened to me i applied for my citizenship while i was doing AIT. oh by the way i'm a medic we like the we're same both job. medics yeah yes. we're both medics so yes, I was still in AIT at Fort Sam when I got all my paperwork signed by my drill sergeants, like, I mean everyone else there. And I submitted and I was just waiting and I gave immigration a call and I said, hey, I'm finishing so uh, AIT, I might get deployed really soon. So you guys have to, can you guys expedite my citizenship? And it's totally free. It shouldn't cost you anything, like even the to, sub, like, to fill out the paperwork if you don't know how to do it yourself, there is legal and uh, I think almost every base, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty much every base should have some sort of like office or personnel that are going to be working in that area that mm -hmm. you need help in. Right, so they can help you to fill out the paperwork and you can uh, submit it if you don't know how to do it. You can do it online, by the way, the USCIS uh, website. They have a space where you can fill out everything online. You just need to like show the copies and like yeah. scan the document signed and everything because I think it needs to be signed by lieutenant colonel or someone like mm -hmm. the battalion or the brigade or something I don't even remember but it needs to be signed all of that and you can ask your drill sergeants for help because they will definitely help you with that and after you have all the paperwork you submit and then you wait unfortunately immigration takes forever and as soon as they finish that they they you receive a letter saying that they received your process and your paperwork and now you just have to wait until the date of your interview. And yes, we have to take the the citizenship the test. The citizenship test. Even though you're in the military, you're not escaping <laughs> from it. You have to take it and you have to pass. And it's um they give you like a handbook, or you can take it online if you wanna start studying already. It's a hundred questions and you have to memorize all of them. Damn. All of them. You know why? Because the system picks automatically 10 questions. Oh. So right there, when you go to your interview, the system picks 10 questions. Damn, it's just random so questions. It is random. So what if it's a question that you don't know the answer? You're like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I know U.S. history. And then it's like, name two. It's like, who is the 32nd president of the United <laughs> States? Bro, I don't even know that. You know, they're like name two um, names of Indian tribes in the U.S. The Choctaw and the Cherokee. No, oh, okay, okay. You I have that. no idea. I'm pretty sure that's yeah. true. So I only I, know that because I'm like one percent Choctaw is, or something. It is because that's my question that I oh, answer really? when they ask Heck me that yeah. question. Let's go. <gasps> exactly. So okay, you're like you're there, and it's one ten questions. Ten. ten questions that the system. Uh, picks for you and you have to answer at least six of them so as soon as you answer the six questions you're done they're like hey congratulations you passed your test Damn. but if you don't then if you miss a question then you keep asking until you hit 10 and then if you fail more than six then i mean fail more than four right because you need true, to yeah. pass six so if you fail more than four you're already failed it so they have to reschedule it for a different day mm. and something really important to um Make sure, like, do you guys know it? Your citizenship does not get done, not always, on the same date. Because I was under the impression that you just go there, you pass the test, and like, hey, whoa, I'm an American mm -hmm. citizen now just because I passed the test. No, it's divided into two parts. So you have to pass the citizenship part, I mean, the test first, which is like U.S. history, you mm -hmm. know, you guys can, we can link up the... The link with yeah, the questions. Yeah, I'll put the links down in the description box. Yeah, so you guys box. can take a look like, and see if you can answer those questions. Because sometimes they think, like, not even the Americans know this answer. It's like, what do I have to know? <laughs> <laughs> and I was studying with my friends, and they were just like, they didn't know a lot of the answers. and But it's okay. Like, we all study together. Um, so we can leave the link here. And the second portion of the citizenship part is when you have to do the oath. 
and as soon so when you finish passing all of the um, the test, the citizenship test, you passed all of that, they ask you a couple of questions, obviously you can have committed any crime or you have to be a good citizen and they have been analyzing you for this past years that you have a green card because basically this is what a green card is for, the US doesn't want to give citizenship to anyone, like what mm -hmm. if you're a piece of shit? Actually, I don't yeah. know. Can you curse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say fuck. I say fuck all the time on the yeah. channel, bro. If you're a piece of shit of a citizen, like that's when like they'll find out within this three years or two years or ten years before you apply for your citizenship if you're actually worth it to become an American. So if you have done a lot of crimes, if you have been a terrorist or I don't know, go to jail for a specific, you're not gonna get your citizenship. I can promise you that. So be a good citizen. Be a good. Noodle. Come here for the good reasons to get rich. And make rich. money, bro. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. You will one day. And that's the first portion. The second portion is when you did the oath. So it's like the, you know, when you join that you have to yeah, raise you gotta your raise hand. Your right hand. Like, yes, I solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. Yes. That, <laughs> so you do that. But it's a longer one. It's really? Like, it's so, and the words are so oh, hard. I fucked that up. I can send you the video later. So yeah, you send me that. It, you saw me during the intro of this, bro. Like, and I'm fucking this up. I, I'd fuck up that I oath. was really struggling with the words because the words are so hard to say. And I'm like, damn, these words are so fancy. But anyway, so that's the second portion. And what I was saying earlier is that not every immigration office have they schedule the two parts in the same day so sometimes you might have to take the test in one day and schedule like three weeks after your your oath so this is just something that you keep in mind also i'm going to say something really important that if you're planning on changing your name if you want to change your last name your middle name your first name you can change your name to whatever the hell you want oh that's cool so when i was there i was like did people like change their names to weird things to he was, uh, my officer was saying like, yes, you won't believe how many people were changing their names to COVID related names. So, COVID related. Like, so I'm like, how the hell would you give your name to like COVID related yeah, something? Just call me Delta 19 or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'd pick something crazy. I'd do something if from like a If you change your name, what would you choose? Like, if I don't you had to know, change your first bro. name. If I was doing it as a joke or like seriously? Seriously, like if you had to change your legal first name, oh, what would you change shit. it to? I don't know. I love my first name. Dude, Ben Allen. Ben Allen over well I don't know my actual legal name is Benjamin so I guess I would just change it to Ben I don't like Benjamin you don't I love Benjamin no, really? such oh, a cool you and everybody else bro everybody yeah. that I ever have known ever my they're, <laughs> they're just like oh it's Benjamin Allen I'm like okay well, my name is Tyann which I love and then Dinsini and I'm trying to get rid of my middle name and guess what I'm not telling you guys what it is, but... Will you tell me after good. the video? No. What? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> oh my god. What if I guess it? You're not gonna guess it. Okay. It's like, I'll just say like it's an old names person. I'll say. Is it Gretchen? <laughs> no. No, is it Gertrude? <laughs> no, it starts with a P. A P? Yeah. Petunia? Okay. Is it Petunia? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Alright, continue, continue. I'm gonna guess it. So, if you want to change your name, you have to, um... You can do the oath at the same day, because... When you apply, like the jury needs to sign it and approve your new name. Like it doesn't matter whatever you pick, but he needs to sign it. So it can be done at the same day. So do not expect, like I was with the impression that I was going to change my name like there and then to just like remove my middle name. And I couldn't because I had to do like everything the process. And I luckily could do the oath in the same day because there was like at a ceremony going on in like an hour after my interview so i was like yeah let me just do it but i couldn't change my name so i, was, I still have my middle name but i'm Interesting. i'm working on it to <laughs> get rid of it like soon after with the civilian side but anyways so if you can do that you have to wait three weeks but good thing i did i chose to do the ceremony and the oath like everything at once in one day because in order for you to get deployed, you need to be a citizen because you can uh, leave the country for more than six months when mm -hmm. you only have a green card because you only you can only stay out of the country uh, six months in a year. So, and I'm getting deployed next month. I'm going to Europe, and yes, I am so lucky because now I am a citizen and I'm going to Europe. And if I didn't do that day, I couldn't go. So, so it cheers pays. To that. There you go. Another cheers. <laughs> cheers it pays to, to be deployment. first and do things. <laughs> Money. 
Dang, that's good. I think we covered pretty much everything, unless I missed any questions, or do you have anything else you want to add um, that you think they should know? Or? I would just emphasize to study the questions. I know it's a, a hundred questions sounds like a lot, but if you start studying now, if you know you have to take it, and even if you're American and you don't, you're just curious to see if you can pass the test, just start like just taking a, a look and see if you can. Yeah, drop your scores in the you know, comment section. Let's see if you know that. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Dude, Thomas Jefferson. Oh, fuck yeah. Like, he's, he's good. Okay. That's only because... I, I don't even know how I know that. You'd be surprised how many people, Americans, don't know when the Independence Day was. Yeah. Do you? Dude, um... <laughs> dude, is it July 4th? Of? The 4th of July? Mm -hmm. What, 1776? Yeah. Oh shit, okay, good. Uh, okay. We're good, we're Damn. good, I know it. <laughs> He's a true American. Yeah. Let me put my American cowboy hat again. Yeah, so, so tell us about the hat. I am so patriotic, like being a US citizen, that I just, I literally just buy like US shirts, they have flags everywhere. I'm so proud to be an American, and like I'm more American than some Americans. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I, some people hate this country, but she loves it. I love it, love America. I love it too, yeah. mostly because I live in Texas. I love Texas. Texas is amazing. Texas well, if you guys well. have any more questions, you can leave here on the comment box and we can come back and answer them if something was left. Mm -hmm. I'll also link her YouTube channel and her Instagram so you guys can send her a DM or you guys can just you know go to her comment section and ask her things as well. Uh, but thank you so much for coming of on and doing course. this video. It was great. And please, 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 please leave your like in here and your comment and everything and just share it with your friends. If you know you have a friend that's not American, share this video because it's gonna be really, really useful. Exactly, guys. And subscribe also because we're trying to hit a million in like a year and a half. So that's the new goal. Yeah. Uh, and subscribe to her channel also. And um, yeah, that's the video, guys. Thank you all so much for popping in here. My Instagram is the Ben Allen. It'll be linked down below also. And uh, there you go. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Later.